Hey everybody, I've uh, reached another milestone in the SLC. Um, I've got the electronics to where they will power up the vehicle and um, mostly uh, the power line runs, the critical power line runs. I still need to work on the IO uh, runs and um, but yeah, if, if the, uh, you know, the, the, the proximity key system is in, the uh, push button start is in and uh, in fact, if I wire this bad boy up right here to the anti-gravity battery, the second post, that goes to the engine compartment, and then the engine would actually fire up, or at least turn over, but uh, I need fluids in, and not quite there yet, but wanted to talk about a little bit about the, uh, the electrical install that I've been working on, um, and how the power line uh, routing is done. And so we have the, the anti-gravity battery up front. We have our main ground up front. And then <clears throat> we've got the battery, the power coming in um, up top there, the large uh, red and black line coming into the distribution block. Then we have um, the distribution block going to the infinity box system uh, through a battery isolator. And then we have a smaller constant fuse block which is powering things like the radio here when that gets in as well as the CompuStar unit here which is doing all of my proximity key systems and it's actually controlling the uh, the uh, battery isolator as well which shuts off power to the infinity box system which is kind of a power hog so when this is in arm state this is holding power off and the total current draw of the vehicle is in the microamp range. So I wanted to do that because the infinity box system pulls quite a lot of power. I didn't want it to be um, on all the time draining the battery and I wanted it to be automated so that I wouldn't forget uh, turning the uh, turning the system off. So we'll show the, the, um, the key system here and uh, how all that works in just a second. Um, let me go ahead and grab that as soon as I pull it over here it'll unlock because now it's in range and you can see the infinity box system powering up there and the green and blue LED flashing for the uh, battery isolator down there and that is uh, pretty much how I have the power there. Now we got a glowing red button for the engine start. Um, <clears throat> go ahead and turn that on to uh, ignition on. We'll get power to the screen for the gauges and we will also get power to the power steering which is functioning as well. <clears throat> and um, when we have the, the, the power has three states, it's got disar uh, completely armed. The only things that have power was what I um, previously outlined, which would have been the, uh, the um, CompuStar unit and the radio and stuff like that. That's all, and uh, actually the power steering main feed, but that doesn't switch on until accessory come or uh, ignition on comes on. So, um, we have kind of that constant power. We have the uh, the constant power that's fed when the car is armed uh, completely, and then at all other times as well. Then we have a disarmed power state, and that cuts on power to a couple of the fuse blocks there. And then we have an ignition on state, which cuts power onto everything else, such as the gauges and the radio when that gets in. So um, everything is functioning well. Uh, Got to finish out the I.O. So if I come over here and we'll go ahead and arm the battery or uh, arm the car, I mean, cut off the battery in about three seconds, it cuts off.